can't breathe. Computer, report. Oxycreds, zero. That's insane. Is there any way of earning Oxycreds right now? Waste employee contract. Every account starts with a balance of 100 Oxycreds. Please, I don't want to die. I'll do anything. Query. Job openings for anything. Result. Miner needed in Sector 5. Job accepted. Transfer to Excavation Department. Completed. Mining? Whatever. Better than dying, I guess. I wonder what it was like way back when you could take a deep breath without worrying about the next one. On Earth. A breathing atmosphere on a vibrant planet. Of course, it's just a fairy tale from a distant past. If you somehow managed to drag your ass back to that dusty desert, you'd be hard pressed to find running water, let alone living organisms. The whole planet's become one big silent cemetery. When the world fell apart with millions of refugees and limited supplies, a dive into deep space was unthinkable. There was only one place left to go. Mars. Our ancestors were promised a giant outpost on the red planet. Planned by the scientist from Wace, and built by the drones of Pandora. Radiation-proof heat shields, simulated water cycles for greenhouses, synthesized biomatter, the haven humanity needed to recover. The only condition? Waste and Pandora would be in charge of everything. Food, water, and most importantly, air. The higher ranks of the two corporations have not set foot on Mars for generations and raised their offspring in isolation of the mothership. They began to run this joint any way they see fit. Nowadays, most citizens fend for themselves in the deteriorating slums of what was once Mars City 1. All I ever wanted was to leave that surface behind and take my chance at getting onto the mothership. But since I'm constantly in orbit, I need to work even harder for every breath I take. The only freedom I have left is flying my ship. New pilot registered. Casey Black. Welcome. What the? You transported me while I was sleeping? Affirmative. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. Pilot routine check. Required before entering mission area. Please familiarize yourself with new cockpit. Let's get this over with. What about my front window? Bottom left information about Hulse Shield status. Shields? What for? Analyzing pilot flight record. Probability of collision? 37%. Only while docking. There's nothing on here. Weapons and target lock system. I think it's broken. Try turning it on. System not required at present time. <laughs> it was worth a try. Ship database. Use this screen to listen to the waste broadcasts. Oh, thanks. They're bad, but anything beats silence. Waste employee channel. Welcome message from Mr. Leon Waste. Congratulations, Waste worker. You've embarked on the path screen. to a brighter tomorrow by leaving behind the rubble on Mars and embracing the future as an active collaborator. Your life may be lonesome, but I maintain that a individual requires nothing but their own mind for company. Years ago on Earth, people as yourself were called monks, dedicated to everlasting approaches, screen. guided by their teacher. 
But while they were promised an illusionary paradise, you're getting something real. A spot on the Ark. Please some mental stimulation. My channel has more learning material than you could imagine. Waste Employee Channel. News before everyone else. Point towards screen. What's that screen for? Scanning and logging. Currently displaying cargo. Point towards screen. That fancy blue plate with the bar on the side. Three dimensional coordinate tracker. To the right, ship velocity gauge. Radar and speed. Got it. Now, that panel looks interesting. What is it? No panel detected. This one right here. No panel detected. What are you talking about? There's a screen with a menu? Context unknown menu. Rephrase your question. Never mind. Pilot education complete. Begin flight skill test. Is this really necessary? I'm a veteran pilot. Record of pilot with the ship. Zero hours. Please fly towards the marked asteroid. Skill set detected. I already know how to fly. Begin weapons test. Fire three shots. Now you're talking. Test complete. Weapon system fully functional. Oh, come on, I wasn't finished. Initializing jump to mission area. First order. Investigate prior accident. A salvage mission? But I'm working as a miner, not a scrap collector. Information about accident may prove useful. Does pilot know about Afterburner? The... Afterburner? Yeah, uh, of course, I, I know. Are you joking? So, um, I'm guessing the pilot didn't make it? Contract terminated. Job opening posted. 3.18 p.m. Self-destruct sequence initiated. He blew himself up? Why would he do that? Forwarding question to HQ. Hey, don't bother. Transmission completed. Uh, I hate those guys. Scanning activated. Nothing to see here. Let's dig into some asteroids. Affirmative. Mission statement. Extract minerals. Alright. Initiating mining instructions. Step 1. Scan asteroid. Found some minerals. Step 2. Send probe. Displaying probe orbit on mining screen. 
Those little circles are the mineral pockets? Affirmative. Step 3. Engage probe drill when above mineral pockets. Got it. Step 4. Detonate explosive charge. You could have mentioned that earlier. My performance. Mediocre. Hey, first try is for free, right? Caution. Probes are one use only. I'll make the rest count. Let's do this. New broadcast available. Waste employee channel. Miners, remember to hit your quota in time. Jumping in and out is expensive, and there should be enough minerals every time. Some people forget that the payload fuels your oxygen supply. They go to sleep and never wake up. It is rather embarrassing, really. Fortunately, there are plenty others waiting for the chance to mine as much as they can, and most importantly, study while doing so. Waste Employee Channel. News before everyone else. Incoming instructions from HQ. Psychological evaluation of deceased pilot wanted. Find the ship's black box. Oh, I should have kept my mouth shut. Area of probable location marked on radar. The noblest work in education is to make a reason. If you only understood how to reason, you would not need to be educated. Being educated does not stem from a knowledge of facts. It is the ability to see the process, the cause and effect behind historical events that make for an educated mind. Keep this in your thoughts as we revisit some of the most important events of our past during this Close series. range scanners engaging. Is Mr. Leon Calibrating. Helping you think. Black box located and marked. Concern. Just what I needed. Found it. Analyzing data. Audio recording found. Hit it. Pilot of this ship, this is Anoxia Station. In need of your ship and minerals. Our last spacecraft. We're strand. Sending our last jump link drone tomorrow, same time. Must hope for freedom on Mars. I can out. Alert. High treason. 
pilot in contact with wanted criminal. What? I just picked up a distress signal from a beacon. Shutting down life support. Are you insane? What is this? Oxy credits needed to pay for high treason. Nine million. Screw you. I choose my own death. Self-destruct. Sequence initiated. Three, two, one. Wow. Um, this happened yesterday, right? Affirmative. So, the jump link drone is supposed to arrive today. Incoming. Pandora droids. Best get out of the way then. Spacecraft registered. No ID. There she is. Perfect timing. Incoming message from... No ID. Oh no! Cut that off! Context error. Cut that off. Rephrase the sentence. This is Anoxia Station. You have to be fast. Computer, report transmission. Get in range of the jump link drone. Alert. High treason. Come on, really? Pilot in contact with... Wanted criminal. You gotta... Shutting down life support. What is wrong with you idiotic robots? Rephrase the sentence. Only one way out. Gotta get to the drone fast. Hello, you must be... Wait, who are you? Name's Casey. And you are... My name is Dr. Eichen. I run this station and its research department. Yet, we had contacted a specific pilot. Would you mind explaining why it was you who answered the call instead? That guy blew himself up thanks to your transmission. I almost got killed over it too. Had to make a break for it under heavy fire. I survived, so here I am. That is... Unfortunate. Well, you know how to fly a ship and mine asteroids. We will have to make do with you. I'm sorry. What are you even doing out here? We are working on the seed, a biochemical bomb which, if successfully deployed, creates a breathable atmosphere on a reasonably well-equipped planet like Mars. Wow, that sounds incredible. Like, literally unbelievable. Spare us your opinions. We just need the mining ship. Progress is stalled without the right minerals. I don't know about that. A bomb sounds dangerous to me. My gut says you're nothing but trouble. You are in no position to refuse. Pandora shoots traitors on sight. Where would you go? Well, I... Uh... Good. Get familiar with the station and introduce yourself to Chief Zainab Azwad. You will be working closely with her. Hey, are you Zainab? Yeah, and you must be Casey. How could you tell, what with all the new faces passing through here every day? I suppose sarcasm is required to survive that obnoxious board computer you were stuck with. I wanted to reuse some parts but ended up tearing it all out. So I'm really not in the mood for jokes today, sorry. How did I get into this mess? Oh, right. Board computers and artillery fire. Iken didn't even seem concerned about losing that other guy. I'll have to be careful.
I guess I'd better play along and see what I can get out of it. How did I get into this mess? Oh, right. Board computers and artillery fire. Hey, I'd like to know more about who I'm working for. I used to work for Vase in the survival department, until I suddenly found myself on the streets of Mars City One a decade ago. Care to elaborate? At the company, rank and family ties amount to more than skill in your profession. Our first task is easy. Acquire minerals to repair the long-range scanners. This asteroid field will serve the purpose just fine and the nearby moon shows promise for sulfide. It will be of use for our research. Black pilots the ship. Chief Azawad will guide him on the intercom. Excuse me? We don't even know him. What if he steals the ship? There is always the possibility for remote control in emergency situations. You promised I'd be next in line to fly. After all the work I've put into the repairs and extras, I've aced all the simulations. Simulations provide limited training. Besides, since you are the only talented mechanic on the station, your life is worth too much. Black is both a miner and expendable, therefore perfectly suited. And what does this mining specialist get in return for being expendable? Just do your job and you will be taken care of. Would you look at that? Something you don't see every day. Looks like an asteroid recently crashed into that moon. There must be tons of minerals in the area. Let's check it out. Should I be looking for some minerals along the way? Anything you bring in will help us upgrade the ship and do all kinds of research. Alright, I'll do some mining around here. Knock yourself out. But your main objective is to check out the crater over there. Roger that. I'll get right on it. employee channel. It's time to overhaul your board computer. The AI proved to be faulty in some rather essential areas. We were running some changes through the testing routines, mainly rerouting the flight controls back through the AI mainframe, and discovered that... Uh, why bother? You wouldn't understand any of this. Uh, shall I phrase this? Uh, the update was installed overnight. Your computer is now capable of overriding all manual controls for your safety. Waste Employee Channel. News before everyone else. supposed to know what to teach you if the shortcomings are hidden away. So please, keep those thoughts in mind and in the public channel. A message from Waze, working on a future for you.
looks like you came across some valuable minerals. Let's hope I get some neat extras in return. How about doing this because it's your job? It's not a job if I don't get paid. Anyway, I'll go check out the moon now, or what's left of it. No sulfide traces on the asteroids outside. You should head into the opening. I'd crash the ship without lights. How do I switch them on? Didn't you go through a mandatory tutorial by Mr. Computer Doc? We were interrupted. The button right above your head. Okay, got it. You're welcome. Do you need directions to the toilet as well? No need. I'll just use a bottle. You're disgusting. <laughs> okay, now, where do I look for sulfide? You have to fly very close to the surface area and periodically engage the radial scanner. Any hint on what to look for? Keep an eye out for yellow traces on the rock. Found some. Close in with your ship and use your new drill to get it out. Casey reporting in. Sulfide extracted. There you go. Check the cargo screen. Any space left for more? Yeah, I got room for about two or three more drillings. Another one. Nice. Bring it in. That was a big load. I think I've got room for one more. Okay, got it.
Did you guys send in reinforcements? What do you mean? You're the only one... Well, there's some lights outside. Crap! Casey, you have to get out of there now! What? Why? I, I can't get off. The drill is still going. It's Pandora! What? Okay, I'm free again. I'm checking your weapon systems. Oh, are you also gonna shoot for me? I would if I could. Look, you need to buy us some time. Center an enemy ship in your view to see it on the targeting screen. You can switch between different locked enemies anytime. They've raised a spherical force field. I think they're trying to trap you inside. How do they even know I'm here? I don't know, Casey. We're working on it. You better work at getting me out alive. Jump back to the station. You figure it out. You want to smash your ship against the force field? Be my guest. I'm not helping you to take it down until we're sure they can't follow you. So, find the tracker and destroy it. I have no clue about the guts of this ship since you turned it upside down. A tracker has to be connected to the mainframe. There should be an extra cable somewhere. You left a lot of extra wiring. How am I supposed to identify the right one? I fear you've got to try ripping them out one by one. This can't be safe. Great. No. No, that wasn't it. Whoa! Got you now. Great. Make sure that thing stops beeping. That should do it. Just in time. Incoming targets. You there? Listen carefully, Casey. I've outfitted your ship with a new only for emergencies. Well, I'm in an emergency now, right? How can it help me? It shuts down all electronics in a wide radius. Hopefully that'll be strong enough to deactivate the force field for a few seconds. And the catch is... Your own systems are also powered down. So I'll be drifting around like a castaway waiting for Pandora to reel me in. I don't have a choice, do I? So, how do I activate this thing? See the screen on your left side. Understood. Jump immediately. Good. You can let go now. Pull the eject lever below you. What? Don't worry. I rigged it to only trigger the EMP. I promise. All right. Crap. See you on the other side, I guess. Do it! It 
worked, Chief! It worked. That was a close call. Explain what happened. I was blackmailed into ripping out random cables while being shot at. That's what happened. Who put that tracker into my ship? Excellent question. I was about to ask you the same. How can we be sure he's not working for them? That makes no sense. I could have just activated it on the station. The same goes for everyone else. And nobody is able to smuggle a tracker onto your ship under my supervision. Then explain why Pandora hasn't come knocking on your door by now. Maybe you just didn't have time and... Enough. The station has not been compromised, so there is no further reason to argue. Chief Aswad managed to get you out alive. In turn, you brought the resources to repair our scanners. The mission was a success. Somebody smuggling a tracker on board is a huge red flag. We need to do something about this. Black, you care about your ship, I take it? It's like my home. Fair enough. You will supervise Chief Aswad on all work being done on the spacecraft. You can't be serious. I've earned your trust. I will not risk this operation for anything other than facts. As long as we do not know who installed the tracker, the only thing I can trust is your distrust for each other. May your combined vigilance serve us well. Any idea why the tracker wasn't activated here on the station? Maybe it was a short-range beacon. Which leaves the question, who activated it in the sector? Well, it was hooked to the wiring. And I know at least one person who's been fiddling with my ship in my absence. That's my job. Well, apparently I can't trust you to do it. Who would want to track my ship? And for what reason? I don't like this at all. The seed sounds like an empty promise to me. Desperation lets people grab onto anything for the slightest shimmer of hope. I gotta focus on improving my ship. The better it gets, the higher my chances of survival. Care to share more details about this bomb you're building? Think of it as millions of tiny cubes glued together into one big ball, interlaced with a strong explosive. Its detonation provokes an intricate chain reaction spanning across a planet like a benevolent healing virus. Sounds complicated. Fortunately, the project does not require to be understood by you in order to work. Who would want to track my ship? And for what reason? I don't like this at all. Today we have received a distress signal directly aimed at our coordinates. Our scanners show a huge ship in the sector it was sent from, but no signs of life. That sounds like the very definition of a trap to me. Since the signal was aimed directly at us, I doubt that this is the case. It looks to me like someone is trying to contact us without Vase knowing about it. All right, I guess. What about the laser beam you welded onto my rooftop? It's for cutting through the ship's hull. We'll go over the details when needed. Then I guess I'm ready to go. You two should get started right away.
I'm in. Okay. I'm suspecting our presence will be compromised soon in such a high-profile area. All the more reason to start mining right away. We're here for the distress signal. Nah, first things first. If anything happens and I have to make a break for it, I don't want to be returning with empty hands. We gotta know who's trying to contact us. Maybe they are still on the ship. Your own words. There are no signs of life anywhere. The signal can wait. Our probes have shown problems on ice before. I recommend using your latest equipment to clear the way to the rock. Melting the ice with a laser? Exactly. You use it in the same way as the drill. Get close, engage the laser. Be sure to focus the beam on the center. The Education Channel. I would like to take you on a little journey. Close your eyes and come with me. Back to Earth. As we approach the thick atmosphere, you can feel the vibrant planet breathing. You dive through the clouds to catch the fresh ocean breeze and watch birds soaring through the air. Imagine yourself running through amber cornfields before splashing into muddy waters. It really is nothing but an illusion. The planet is dead because people were too busy dreaming their life away. There is no escape from reality, so keep your head grounded in reason. That is the first lesson. That was Mr. Liam Wace, helping you think. Exhausted all the probes. Good for you, Casey. That'll net you that material wealth you crave. Jealous you don't have a home you can decorate? You wish. Time to check out the big ship.
close. I marked the location of the signal on your radar. Better get a move on. What was the purpose of this ship? It's huge. Beats me. But we can find out more about it. I'd sure be interested to know what happened here. Me too. Maybe the distress signal gives us a hint. Life signs. There's one escape pod missing. So that's it? What happened to the rest of the crew? No clue. But the scan revealed more traces of that material we're looking for. Icon says to keep her eyes peeled for a storage container. Let's broaden the search. Employ the radial scanner to scan the area at each beacon. New broadcast available. The Education Channel. Those who do not know history are doomed to repeat it. You need to learn from the mistakes of your ancestors. When Wace first warned about the impending asteroids, nobody listened. We began to prepare for the worst anyway. Years later, it was clear to everyone that Earth was doomed. A few months left to spend in their miserable lives, and what did the people turn to? Riots, panic, chaos. After trampling each other to cram into shuttles, half of those who thought they had made it died shortly after, when the jam-packed ships crashed back to Earth under their weight. What happened then is not far from us now. Remember the catastrophic revolt from two years ago? The slightest nudge can topple this small refuge we carved out for you. Don't push it. That was Mr. Liam Wace. Helping you think. Medical bay. I bet we could use some of that equipment. We can return for it later. The storage is our priority. our storage. The scan shows several large barrels in there. Oh my, Ikin is getting really excited about their content. This could be big. Should I blast it open? We can't risk damaging the goods. I'm activating your laser cutter. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. I do just fine on my own. Okay, cut along the edges.
Careful now. A little more to the right. Would you let me concentrate, please? Again? I'm getting tired of this. It's just two cube drones. Spatch them quickly. We're almost there. not how their jump systems work. Come again? Pandora is sending out drones in waves. They're not prepared for big numbers at the same time. That's it. About time. Now grab those as many as you can fit. Whoa! What the f- I can't believe it. Are you blind? You told me there were only two drones. That's your excuse for not keeping an eye out? It's your job to keep me informed. Lucky they missed me. You'll be sorry they have. Hey, don't bail on me now. They got rockets this time. I thought you said you could handle a few drones alone. Prove it. Oh, come on! Hello? Are you serious? I have to say, I am very disappointed. I told you so. He... In both of you. Those barrels were a gift. I have never seen such an amount of quantum rift. It would have brought us to the brink of completing the seed. But you let petty personal grudges come in the way of the mission. I will not allow any more arguments among my crew. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Now tell me, Chief, what is your take on the situation? We can't say what happened to the crew. As for the lonely distress signal, Casey could have warned them. That's a far stretch. A tracker in your ship with the same signature as the signal? You're definitely linked to it. It's good to be careful, but you're ignoring the facts here. Someone used the tracker to get your position and directly point you towards that tanker. Mr. X didn't need rescue but wanted to help. I agree with Black. We retained the chance of being contacted with more directions. Until then, we must seek an alternative. This may require us to venture into more dangerous territory. Chief, you have a week to prepare the ship. Yes, ma'am. Dismissed. Hey, what was that material you were talking about? It is what funds all of our progress. Vase used to call it Quantum Rift. What on Mars is this material? Iken is in a really bad mood. I hope we'll get some of those barrels on the next run or I see this going downhill. Nobody trusts anybody around here. Can't say I blame them. 
Am I getting through to you? You're seeing friends as enemies. Your theory does make sense, but we still don't know who made the tracker, and how they managed to get it on your ship. Casey reporting in. We are headed to an asteroid belt around a planet brimming with volcanic activity, where traces of the rift showed up on the scanner a week ago. It is unusual for it to exist in such a hostile environment, so I suspect it was carried there by Vase. They may be experimenting with extreme temperatures. All I hear is extreme temperatures and hostile environment. My ship will melt away close to that planet. One step ahead of you, you're going to fly a brand new ship. The Mars 2 has increased armor plating, which makes it a better fit for the fights you've been getting into. As an additional bonus, it's able to withstand the extreme heat conditions. I hope this makes up for our rough start. I kind of like my own ship better. You ungrateful son of a... I can't let another opportunity be squandered. You two together are bad news, which is why Chief Aswad is taking a break for now. In her place, I will handle the communication. Your coordinates sent me straight into a meteor shower. These rocks are orbiting the planet at high speed. It could be a temporary eruption. I guess it's time to earn my reputation as a pilot. You can begin filling your cargo while we scan for the exact location. Business as usual. Fine with me. I'll tell you when I see some of your magic stuff. What's it look like? We do not yet know if there is any left, but you will recognize it when you see it.
kind of container floating in orbit. We were able to pinpoint its trajectory. A container just floating in space? It is our best bet. Absolute decisions. This should not be so hard to grasp. A message from Wace. Working on a future for you.
reason for this spooky container. The black surface absorbs more heat. All the trouble for an oven? I would see it as an experimental breeding installation. mechanism used to deflect incoming targets. Deflect into oblivion? Looks like there is an opening mechanism on top of it. Try activating it with a drill. What about that defensive shield? It only reacts to targets traveling at high velocities. Restrain yourself from using the afterburner. Charging up? Almost there. Now. I need to get away. <laughs> what in the world? Black? Black, are you there? The defense mechanism turned your systems unresponsive. How could this happen? The drill has caused a malfunction in the wiring. It triggered the EMP. Scan the hatch when you can. I'm fine, thank you. I can't go near that thing. The EMP charges up too fast. You have to try. And be mindful of drugs. Speak of the devil. Wind up the mechanism with the drill again. Then get to the hatch before it closes. How's that for a challenge? See it as a chance to redeem the lost balance. More than a few seconds of the hatch, I get fried. We finally have enough to save humanity. Are you even listening? It's literally impossible to get. This is an order, Black. Come back with the rift, or not at all. You must be joking. Hello? Again?
wasn't planning on it anyway. What's with Iken? We had an argument and she bolted. Hold on. I'm sending coordinates. Get to the jump link drone when you can. Can I just jump back? Iken has blocked the controls. She still expects you to deliver. I'm sending this one without her knowledge. Thanks for the lift. I hope you two understand what you have done. This is mutiny. Better than dying because of your insane demands. Soldiers die. We all have to make sacrifices. Is that what they told you at Waith? If we keep working together, it's only going to happen with someone on the calm that I can trust. You have to stop using people as human lab rats, ma'am. Casey is right. We're a team, not the military. You have to start taking some time to let us in on the details. I grant that I got a little agitated. We got so close to completing humanity's greatest scientific achievement. Nevertheless, the situation was very dangerous. I maybe should have given you the order to wait, which is what we will have to do now. You will find me on the bridge if you have further questions. Thank you for saving my life. Don't mention it. You tried your best. Iken was way over line on that one. I had to interfere. Incredible. Iken has no remorse at all. I gotta watch my back. Thank God Zainab stood up for me. Don't know how I would have returned otherwise. I guess I underestimated her. I wonder on what kind of train wreck mission they send me next. Are we not returning for the material in that sector? We were extraordinarily lucky with that first chance. By now, the container is being orbited by hundreds of ships. With that much quantum rift, Pandora is not taking a gamble on our return. We have received the next distress signal. Same signature as the last one. Our friend in hiding. Presumably, but here is where it gets interesting. Our scanners show a huge, unregistered space station. Let me guess. No life signs? Correct. If the last hint by our anonymous benefactor is anything to go by, we can expect to find something really big in that station. Yeah, an armada of drones waiting for me. 
A suicide mission. Don't worry. If something is off, I'm pulling you out of there. Trust me. Hey, I know we've been getting along better now, but in the field I can only rely on myself and my ship. If we skip the mining, we may be able to get into the station without attracting attention. Good luck. Let's hope I don't need it. Well, that's not intimidating at all. We're not even that close. This station is huge. How do we get in? There should be an entrance at the tip. New broadcast available. The Education Channel. Every evening, I indulge in Wasn't the study of our shared this way? history. By right. entering the family. Grace must have converted it into Revisiting the whatever needs this of my fathers. Is. Were they Please. trying to spell gravitas? The Waste family named all, all of the humanity. They have a thing now that puzzles. is what I call an achievement. I assume you will be relieved to know. There's the entrance. Uh, gun turrets. Unresponsive at the moment. Then they're probably offline. Forgive me if I don't trust that anymore. Do you see any lights? The station is powered down, believe me. I'm taking a turn here. I don't see any other way. Good news. No ships means nobody's home. Shame our friend didn't leave any lights on. Or maybe they were the ones to cut off the power. What makes you say that? You need darkness to hide yourself in the belly of a beast. Okay, up we go. So why is this station dead? Maybe our friend has something to do with it. Too dark to see through. Maybe we can find a way to turn on the power.
gone the whole time. So the gun turrets could have... They didn't see you. Is that a... a mini Earth? What the hell? I have no... Hold on. I can want a word. Vase has built on my research. We are looking at a field test with a real seed on a moon-sized object. Quite the success, apparently. Our contact must know more about this. You heard her. The door on the other side should open now. But... this is good news, right? If they have a seed... for a lot of moths. What are moths? They're... Uh, it's just something my mum used to say. There it is. Oh, crap. Damn it. They know we're here. What is that thing? A barker. You're about to see many more. I'm feeling weak like signs. Probably a person in circumstances. It's... wait. Scan detected. Automatic transmission of text. My name is Dr. Alexander Suarez. Icon knows me from her days at Waze. I used a tracker to acquire your position, and sent the distress signals directly to you. I also sabotaged the freighter to get you the rift you need. Consider it payment for my rescue. Get me out, and I will tell you what we are facing. We may have failed to acquire his payment, but we can definitely use him. And how do I get him? You need to cut the capsule out on the side. I'll mark the section for you. Got it. Now position your rear end towards it and open the storage. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. I'm preparing a jump link drone already. He's on board. Let's get out of here.
The exit is blocked. I'm just gonna EMP them again. No, don't. It would fry the stasis chamber. Just fight them off for now. I'm preparing the jumping drone. I think we have a good chance to extract Swarovski from here. Hit me up as soon as you have a breather. There's a hatch on the outer wall. Cut the hinges to open it. Hurry. can't fit through here. Then let's get Suarez out first. More drones coming in. Damn it, the jumbling is so close. We can't risk the transfer while under fire. Deal with them first.
A precision EMP. Oh God, I'm sorry, Casey. What the? Finally, I have your undivided attention. I know that your part in this little rebellion started out as an accident. Quite a shame that it so unwillingly drove you into the arms of Iken and her misguided companions. I understand that one is easily swayed by the romantic appeal of the underdog, but did you really think you could take me on? Look at you now, floating around in a metal coffin like an ant on a raft. I'd much, much rather crush you like the insect you are. But sadly, there's information that I need from you. You give me the coordinates of Iken and their aggravating accomplices. In exchange, I will transfer you back to your post as a miner. Come on, I know that you just want to be back home. Son of a... Language, Mr. Black, please. We have standards, don't we? Oh, you do? Because last time I checked, you'd rather keep a whole planet hostage than use the seed at your disposal. If it's of any help, I can assure you that all our efforts go towards keeping humanity from squandering the glimpse of a future it has left. And you expect me to believe that? No, Mr. Black. I expect you to choose. Or die. I... I... I don't... Three. Don't do it, Casey! Two. I... I can't! He's using you! One. I don't want to die! Mr. Black. Okay, okay, I'll do it! Very well. You're ratting out your friends for a life as a slave worker? I thought you wanted freedom! I wasn't asked to come aboard, and what I had with Waste wasn't much, but was a life. Are you two lovebirds done already? Oh, shut up! You're a coward. Maybe, but I'd rather be a coward alive in his ship than a dead martyr in space. I hate to break it to you, but it was never yours to begin with. I built this. There's no place on your ship for traitors. Goodbye. What is happening? Hey! Hey! The suit doesn't even have oxygen attached. I'm not gonna last a minute. Hello? Great. Just great. At least I have a great view. Earth had a good look to it. Oh, no. Don't come close, you nasty machine. Stay away.